So that's what we're here to talk about. Before I continue, Blizzard have struck gold, they just haven't realized it yet. The guy is talking about Plunderstorm. Just from the title, I'm gonna say that I don't think Blizzard are not realizing that they have struck gold. I think they just don't know how to utilize it. That's it. That's all. But let's see what this guy have to say. But today, it's a brand new event. It's finally happened, everybody. It's Blizzard's take on a battle royale. And we're calling it... I don't know if anybody expected this. It is wild. Blunderstorm. Remember WoW's golden era? It's crazy to imagine that an MMO was once the world's most popular game. But as the players mature and new generations enter the fold, it's only inevitable for new genres to take the crown. Before MMOs, we had FPS. After MMOs, we had mobiles. But it wasn't until 2017 that a new genre would enter the mainstream, changing the game and climate forever. Games like PUBG, Fortnite and Warzone exploded onto the scene amassing tens of millions of downloads and dominating Twitch viewership. Yeah, uh, I didn't start playing until Drake started playing, so you can start <laughs> I didn't start playing until Drake started playing. Named after the popular Japanese action film released in 2000, the battle royale genre would only increase in popularity over time and eventually make its way into video games. And are you trying to kill me right now? Now it's 2024 and the hype around BRs. I mean, let's be real here. It was really cringe when they were playing on live TV, on TV. In general, it was... Has more or less settled. The game mode is still massive, but seems to be sharing the crown with MOBAs and FPS. So, Blizzard are at least a few years late to the party when it comes to BRs. Few years, man. Battle Royales got popular in 2018. Blizzard released Plunderstorm six years later. But that might not be a bad thing. It might not be a bad thing? Wow! Really curious what this guy has to say the now. The last few years have been transformative for Blizzard. Freed from their former leadership, Blizzard seems to be re-establishing their goals as a developer and entering 2024 with a new outlook at their place in gaming. For the longest time, WoW's absolute domination... Also, I want to say that this guy's microphone is a little bit low. Am I the only one? ...gave them an arrogance that caused them to ignore their own player base. But that seems to have changed. Here's a slide from Blizzard's presentation at the GDC, in which they're outlining their past failures, learning from them, and adapting. It really is letting go of old stubbornness. Your job as game director, Ian, is to safeguard this tradition, do it well, taking a step back and being like, well, no, what if the tradition is wrong now? What if the tradition was right 20 years ago, but needs to change today? This is the Blizzard we've wanted to see for a really, really long time. A Blizzard that understands that they can't do everything on their own. And that's where Proletariat comes in. Proletariat? Pro Proletaria is an indie game developer known for their popular BR, Spellbreak. As you may have guessed, Spellbreak was a battle royale with a fantasy set. Rather than using guns, Proletaria decided to approach their BR slightly differently, using magic. In 2022, Blizzard bought Proletaria. This oh, game really? sort of went under the radar, but only now does this acquisition truly make sense. Plunderstorm looks and feels a lot like Spellbreak. And since playing the game, I can honestly say this may be the best pairing of studios in recent memory. The game is good. It's really, really good. Guys, Guys, Storm is really you good. You don't understand how fun it is. This is the peak maximum fun ever, period, ever, ever, period, ever, period. Absolute best time of my life. Holy shit! Holy pop the hell off! Oh god, I got it. Are you in? Like, Plunderstorm was hella fun. To play it, it was hella fun. It, it was just. The fact that it, it's really hard to make Battle Royale interesting as a streamer, you know? You know, Plunderstorm was fun to play it, but not very interesting to watch. And uh, streamers didn't have the experience of playing the game in a way that it's interesting to watch. I love it, and I'm not going to be shy about that. Let's fucking go! Fuckers, it's a ladder! <laughs> Thunderstorm has the opportunity to change everything. This is so good. I streamed 15 hours yesterday, bro. <laughs> and then I kept playing for another three hours. Dude. Just, it's hard to stop, man. By the way, whenever Plunderstorm was out, everyone was streaming a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's hard to, hard to not press Q. So what is Plunderstorm? Plunderstorm is a limited time event 
a classless third-person battle royale housed on the retail client. Benefiting from 20 years of WoW's engine optimization, the game feels smooth as butter. It works very similarly to other BRs, yet once you drop in, you're not looking for guns, armor sets, grenades. You're looking for spells and abilities, and grinding levels. Remind you of anything? That's because this <laughs> isn't a typical BR. It's a BR with MOBA elements. MOBAs condense the RPG progression and empowerment experience into a much smaller package that would play out over and over again in different matches. Plunderstorm seems to be doing the same thing, but within a BR. And it works. Both of these genres capitalize on that Moorish quality, and Plunderstorm is certainly no different. In a way, this game hits on so many points that WoW PvP is lacking. WoW suffers from intense playability problems. Yeah, and Riot did Plunderstorm before they even did Plunderstorm. I wouldn't say that League of Legends is a Plunderstorm. Like, Plunderstorm is... At least in my head, Plunderstorm is having the potential to be more than Plunderstorm actually is. I mean, if you have... If you add at least 20 more abilities, the ver variations of kits you can have is limitless not limitless but it varies a lot it does not lock you into a class or a character google arena league arena ah 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2. but this is not it this is nothing close thunderstorm you have solos you have duos you have trios it's a 60 player battle royale it's different game it's not it, one genre is battle royale you're trying to outlast 59 out other players tier one is basically four team fight four teams fighting each other on rounds it's 2v2 after that it's 2v2 again but against another team and it's it's different thing it's not eight teams it's whatever teams the whole point of the game is different it's not an arena in any way fucking playing a game i want to cast spells on things let's say you're new to the game and you want to compete you either have to roll the dice spending hours looking for partners or spend hours in solo queue instead you play classic queues are an issue here too and have fun waiting for 10 minutes for cooldowns between every duel <laughs> hey we need to see the reset man fuck you know and then when you do finally get to play both games are incredibly imbalanced anyway what dude zeus True. just one shot it's so refreshing to play a game that you can just hop on press q and be in and a game play. within a minute and then when you are playing the game is actually really balanced and it's easy to balance because it's not tied to the main game which means there's no pushing and pulling between pve and pvp there are some strong abilities for sure, but everything is counterable. And even though the game is a lot simpler than PvP and WoW, there's complexity and nuance within that simplicity. And it's not just me losing their minds over this game mode. It seems like everyone absolutely loves Plunderstorm. Everyone that should be playing it anyway. I wouldn't say that everyone loves Plunderstorm. I, I wouldn't say everyone loves Plunderstorm. I would say Plan Plunderstorm was fun. A lot of people got hyped about Plunderstorm, but I wouldn't say that everyone loved Plunderstorm. A lot of people, not a lot of people, some people dislike Plunderstorm, like, but I think that's kind of normal. Like, there is always a group of people that don't like something. I think Plunderstorm has more potential than Arena, and I think Plunderstorm can be developed to be so much better and uniquer for a while than arena to league is plunderstorm has so much more potential just remove the pirate team make a couple of maps put uh like another 30 abilities out there and for each map uh the abilities to be unique and you know uh, in a couple more things and it's i mean it's good enough and also also uh make it free to play make it free to play this is a must like i want to play plunderstorm with friends my friends are not willing to pay 13 dollars just to try a game amazing plunderstorm success is being obstructed by the same company that made it plunderstorm right now is heavily marketed towards wow players sure it's the same ip but mmo players aren't necessarily fans of brs or mobiles True. And because so many of the rewards are for WoW Classic and Retail, collectors are forced to play a game that isn't made for them. 
<laughs> if you went onto the WoW subreddit True. around its release, you'd see a stupid amount of posts talking about how bad Plunderstorm is, and how they can't wait to never have to play it again once they- But that guy counter-argumented himself. He said everyone loved Plunderstorm, and at the same time he, he showed all the people who didn't love it. They have the rewards. Most videos online are about how to get plunder without having to PvP at all. And the rest of the videos have very little views, because the people who should be playing this game literally aren't aware of its existence. That's because Blizzard have made the mistake of primarily marketing this game to an audience that it isn't made for. The people who enjoy WoW PvP, for the most part, absolutely adore this game. True. And players who enjoy BRs and MOBAs would enjoy this game too. But right now, it's not being marketed to them. So how does Blizzard reach them? Let's look at four of the most popular games out right now. League of Legends, Fortnite, Counter-Strike, Warzone. Are these the four these games most popular point? right now? Where is the GTA, man? Where is the GTA? They're free. All of these games play under the free-to-play model with a cash shop, with mostly cosmetic items. And why do companies do this? Because they make more money this way. For a game like this, there really does seem to be only one way to go. If you want a huge audience, and you want your game to grow and be healthy, it needs to be free to play. And it yes. needs its exactly my point, sir. Thank you. own client. If people want to play the game, they shouldn't have to download a completely separate game to do so. Have a team. 87 gigabytes in order just to try Plunderstorm and pay $13 on top of it dedicated to making skins and cosmetics for the game and open it up to the public. Remove the barriers to entry and show everyone what an amazing game this really is. By the way, really nice editing on this video. Like, this video was released one day ago. It's about Plunderstorm that is right now not available to play anymore. But amazing editing, like, god damn. So right now, Plunderstorm's future is fairly uncertain. It's clear that Blizzard are having a testing period, with experiments like Season of Discovery, Plunderstorm, and WoW Remix. But it's my fear with how badly they've promoted and marketed their game that its potential won't be recognized, and it won't get the support that it needs. <laughs> because this game is so good, I really can see it being one of the biggest BRs on the market. Imagine a more general Warcraft Royale game. Yes. With skins, cosmetics, rank queues, a prestige system, oh. new maps and abilities. Oh man, stop talking, man. You're making me hard. Imagine the esport potential, introducing millions from newer generations to the Warcraft IP. Imagine WoW PvP is finally not being treated as an afterthought, taking two decades of passion into the new generation of WoW PvP. Because I can see all of this happening. I just really hope Blizzard can too. I don't know if you have ever watched the tournaments, Bubble, but it was really hype watching the tournaments. The tournaments were really hyped, even because it was full with good players, right? Or some entertaining players. But can you imagine actually some people who know how to play battle, how to stream battle royale game? It would have been amazing. Nice. One of the challenges that World of Warcraft and a lot of MMOs have is having their competitive game modes be very watchable by a large audience. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> and I think this has that. Bro. He's the chat. He's the chat. This is Steven. For something like Thunderstorm, we're like, okay, this is a bit crazy. From an esports perspective, I think it's fantastic. And it outperformed our expectations. I'm going to be honest, guys, I think it's good. I got I got I got I I want to see it come back. It really makes me think this could be an esport. We're back, baby! It just needs support. Let's go! The interest is there, the viewership is there. Let's go! Oh, so wicked. Uh, Dude, mainstream is like 14k view oh, Three seconds, Mr. Hey, yeah, that is good. That's too much. Do. What this guy is gonna say for an outro? Guys, I just want to say thank you so much if you made it this far in the video. No it worries, takes me man. 
a horrendous amount of time to make these videos so i really really Good. appreciate it it's no coincidence that this video comes out after plunderstorm is over because i have been living in plunderstorm i have a problem it's it's bad i mostly just made this video because i don't really want to see plunderstorm's potential go to waste i think the game is fucking amazing and i just think it would be the biggest shame ever if it didn't turn into something bigger than it is right now. And I think the way to do that, the way to make that happen is to just talk about it a lot. So that's what I'm doing. If you want to be keeping up with me in any way, I am going to be streaming on my Twitch, which is linked below. There's so much good stuff happening in WoW right now, and I'm quite enjoying making videos about it. I'm gonna check so the maybe I'll do more. Um, I don't really know what my upload cadence will be. Um, I basically just uh, make videos when I have time and hope they're good. <laughs> anyway, thank you again and I'll see you next time. No worries, man. What an amazing video. Great job. Great job. Holy moly. Let me check this guy.